So after one year, one year after the show, this is the lame story Buma and Tega came up with to give us at the reunion. <laughs> wow. They must really think that we, the viewers, is that they don't rate us at all, or they think that we don't have sense, or we have memory loss, just like they used to have. Maybe that's what they think, because if they don't think that way, they will not come sit here and lie and say things that don't even add up, that cannot even make sense to a toddler. Ah, hey, hey. And if you have slept with a married man in this country, that is, that is what they used to abuse you all your entire life. Can't you see this small issue with Beatrice and Maria? Waiting with carry, waiting with you. Kill like make it like you. Bitches has already called Maria husband snatcher. Ah ah. <laughs> Anyways, guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Okewumi, and this is the Big Brother Niger review live on the Wumi's talk show. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Please take a second to hit the red subscribe button down below. Turn on your post notification bell and let me know what you think in the comment section below let's get straight into today's she video she played herself and she was misunderstood but like i just didn't really think much of, like i didn't she she really wasn't in the house the thing is i didn't like my she looks like someone that is really controlling she asked me to come out do her show like, what do you mean do her show so everybody else was a prank but maria is not a prank is that all you can say different right now i am as shocked as maria like <laughs> this must be playing like this must be a joke <laughs> they must have paid beatrice maybe fifty thousand naira to come and embarrass herself like this at the reunion to come and maybe the show was getting boring and they needed a bit of drama and there was no bad girls maybe they said okay bitches so you need to act this script because it has to be scripted because what is this <laughs> unnecessary uh, or more, i'm even have, having headache on the behalf of maria <laughs> i mean for the first time eh, this entire show i stand strongly with maria because <laughs> so let me tell you guys what happened because i cannot play the whole clip i don't want to get copyrighted so ebuka played a clip of beatrice while they were in the house they were playing games and beatrice just stood up and left the way she you know she used to have mood swings before, when she was in the house and then all the answers were like ah what did they say here that you are standing up to leave that you cannot be in chat and if you want to go go let us continue to our game and she fled up and ebuka asked the housemaid that this thing that Beatrice was doing in the house, her off and on mood, that today she will be hang angry at you, tomorrow she will walk out, and all these things. That do they think that she was that was her strategy? She was doing it for attention, or well, people misunderstood her. And he asked Yeri, and Yeri said that, ah, okay, when he came to the house, he got to know her. She told him a few things about herself and her childhood, and felt like, oh, this babe has gone through a lot, and she's probably traumatized, and he was trying to understand her and then the wild card situation came and it was like oh my, this babe she just played herself really because how can you pretend for a whole week i think more than a week two weeks in the house to be somebody you're not you're they're trying to figure out who the wild card is you're taking the position of the wild card that they did not give you and so he really found that very weird and he felt like she did it intentionally probably to seek attention he does not know but she did it intentionally so Ebuka also asked maria what she also thought about the situation that was beatrice merely trying to seek attention or she was being misunderstood and maria said in her opinion like beatrice was was just in the house but in her head she wasn't there because she already put her off and blocked her off when um few times in the house she tried to like approach her or try to understand the type of person she is and she would just misbehave sometimes she would sit you would come and try to sit beside her to talk to her she would stand up and walk out and she's like this babe is confused like she has a very confusing personality and she was even confused that she feels like she was confused at a point as to why she was in the big brother house because if not she would not behave the way she actually did in the house and then ebuka goes next to beatrice that okay beatrice 
with all these things they've said, the earrings have said that, oh, you purposely tried to seek attention. Maria said you were confused as to why you were on the show. What do you have to say regarding the fact that you were misunderstood or you were trying to seek attention? Why did you do all of that? And Beatrice goes like, first of all, I don't like Maria. Who asked you if you like Maria? Maria wasn't the only person that gave her opinion. And she wouldn't have even said anything if Ebuka did not ask her. Yerins also spoke about it. So if you've not been carrying this internal beef with you to the reunion, maybe you want to face Maria by force by fire. And this Ebuka gave you the chance to. You would not just utter that statement. First question for you to defend yourself. That was what Ebuka asked her. To tell us that, oh, you were, you were not seeking attention. Or this is why you were this at, or during the show. The first thing you utter from your mouth is, I don't like Maria. I don't like Maria because she's very controlling. And everybody's like, what do you mean Maria is very... If, you, if you're saying Maria is very... You must have something to back it up. Eh, eh, yes, I have something to back it up, obviously. In the house, few times in the house, she tried to control me. I mean, like one time, she told me to... to eh, bitches, help me, help me tie my shoe. And she, one time, she said, bitches, help me bring water in the fridge. Like... Who does that? It's very controlling. Maria, you cannot control me. And Maria goes like, Ugh. Maria was confused. Everybody, like, all the housemates were like, what are you saying? And they were so confused, like, Beatrice, what? What are you saying? Are you even listening to yourself, girl? I mean, think about it. They say, so, like, she was just, so because someone said time my shoe lays, that is, that, that means she's controlling anyways um as she went on and on to say things about maria i don't like her said said a lot of things about maria i'm like that's not what we're asking you. we're asking you like did you deliberately try to seek attention and all those things and she went like um she was pranking the housemates and if if we asked her friends that's how she is she plays prank on people and that was just it and she just feels like she wasn't giving enough time she didn't have enough time on the show to really tell us or show us who she really was i'm like okay now that you even have small time this is what you came to show us eh madness so as um auntie was still talking she still found a way to bring maria into it and she started saying so many things about maria maria said oh you don't like me fine i don't like you too but i know that you'll be dying you can't even have a friend like me you'll be dying to have a friend like me you can't she said i don't want to have a friend like you someone that is sleeping around with married men married men husband snatcher i'm like killer big killer like what like did you have that that statement honestly was not necessary at that point because what are you saying like and maria said oh okay yes i'm my husband such as i have a man you how many men have you been with since you left the big brother house how many men how many how many men have chased after you and then bitches just stood up boom i was shocked <laughs> hey guys i think you saw the clip it was so random unwarranted it, it, it didn't even it seemed so out of place she just stood up and Pereira came was trying to hold i'm like hold her for what what like i, I was like she even, like like left to, if Pereira had held her she dare not i'm telling you she wouldn't have dared to hit maria because what happened like what would you even say happened that you just hit her you were calling her names you called her husband sasha you called her all sorts of names and she just asked you a question how many men have you been with since you left us and you stood up and you want to beat her girl are you at that point i felt like no 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 this is a serious problem and then after all that drama Pere tried to hold her and you said they're just trying to hold her see oh see that's like don't tear my clothes leave me let me stop her let me show her who i am i say auntie if you've been wanting to beat maria since the show it's not here at the reunion you come and beat her you can beat her when you put meat at one corner, but not at this reunion. Not my you can't waste my time with this. And then she sits down. After that, again, she continues. If not because of this, your bitch, um, um, British accent. I know I'm bigger than you. You are nothing. You are nothing, Maria. I say you are nothing. I say, oh my, this one don't pass waiting. We think, say we know. It's more than the the show, or it's more than what's happening in the show because 
this is an internal beef i feel like beatrice is intimidated by maria in every way she's intimidated by her accent she's intimidated by how she looks she's intimidated by her personality because if not why bring a british accent into this situation i say eh, even if you're educated it does not matter you can be educated and not have sense she said a lot oh. she said a lot really she said a lot that wasn't necessary that did not just add up to me like to ordinary what do you think like <laughs> the situation escalated and it was just stupid to me because all this drama was just unnecessary unwanted and ebuka honestly the same way i was shocked and i'm like i mean <laughs> ebuka did not even know what to say he just had to move on to the next thing he didn't even talk about it or say why why just because he didn't even want any further whining in his ears so he just had to move on to the next situation <laughs> First of all, I, I didn't even think she was really like, married. Because Perra told me I was an um, unpredictable guy. There were already a lot of jealous people outside there to say something. To me, I was the most single woman. For a fact, I didn't go into the show. Everything that was going on between the and Boma and I was all the disrespect between us. So we'll not say if we cross that door. My guy yeah, eight percent of married men in Nigeria have girlfriends. I'm honest, it's because I have thick skin. That's why I'm alive. You know, but I can't cry over stroke male. I just have to brace up face it and keep see i'm just going to tell you guys a summary of what happened because this their story is just terrible they didn't even try with lying like they're not intelligent in my opinion because they didn't even, they, they, they couldn't even come up with something tangible for me to even say oh okay let me even justify their actions and everything so apparently um Ebuka played a clip of um tega and buma doing a lot under the duvet kissing doing some sexual acts and before then j paul warned buma about staying clear of tega because she's married and she's a married woman and it does not make sense and he told him guy no go that way she's married and Buma said ah no 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 no, i can't even try that and you know he goes and does the exact opposite so um Ebuka threw a question to the housemates what they thought about the situation T um, michael said these two people are adults they are they are, they know what they are doing and they know the consequences of their actions and they chose to do it and so he really does not have anything more than that to say he didn't really think of it just feel like they should know what they're doing and they should know that this is what comes after it and then KV on the other hand said similar things too and then Pera in his opinion he didn't even think that Tega was married because I mean the way she did the way she behaved he didn't even believe the fact that she was married he thought it was a strategy another housemate supported Jackie B even said that ah, she didn't believe that she was married because if you're if you're married in this country Nigeria that we are and they you're doing truth or there and you're doing allowing boys suck your nipple do all those things that are she did not want to believe that Tega was actually married and then Boma now finally had time to say what happened, what exactly went down between the both of them. Boma goes on and says, eh, first of all, people outside the house are jealous of him, and that's why they were coming for him like that. Like, imagine, he had not even come out of the house. They're already bringing guns and knives, saying he's a violent person before the house. That he just feels that Nigerians were jealous of him. That No, that some people were jealous of him outside the house. And first of all, I want to say that Boma had fans at the beginning of the show. Nobody was jealous of him. Everybody was supporting him, supportive of him at the beginning of the show. I remember he had a lot of fans. People were talking about him. But then people started seeing the real him, the terrible person he was, his character and everything. And people just started withdrawing from him and he started having lots of, you know, issues. And this situation, Boma said... Uh, so far as he was concerned, whatever he was doing in the house, he was doing it with a single woman. Because Sega had already told him that she was separated and the marriage was no more and why obviously why didn't you now tell people when people come, came to tell you in the house that don't do this with a married woman why, why even he said uh uh the reason why is not a story to tell it's tega's story to tell so he, if tega did not want to tell anybody well that's a that it, it was not him and my problem is in the house he kept on saying that ah if if assuming you were not married now when, when both of them were alone eh, 
would have been able to you know he kept he said he made statement like that a lot in that like, ah it's because you are married though if you were not married though and you said she told you she was separated but why did you keep saying she was married do you do you guys understand like he doesn't even add up and then tega goes on to say yes yeah she was she came into the house separated that she and her husband are already separated but then when she was coming to her, she told her husband that whatever you see please it's whatever you see we're already separated but i mean why did she put married in her bio before because on the bb niger website before you get into the house your bio is already there your status marital status and she puts married you could have put separated also they did a video before getting into the house that they'll play when you're on the stage before you enter the house she also said there that she was married happily married with a kid went into the house again and according to her when she saw jepo she didn't want to tell anybody she was even married but when she saw jepo jepo and jepo did not know that her and her husband were separated so she had to say they were married that's a big lie if only one person did not know that you and your husband were separated and you know this person before you could tell the husband that before coming to the house, I and my husband already separated. And you, Jepo will obviously ask, ah, really, when? Ah, you tell Jepo, this is the situation, no. Ah, my husband, we've come to a mutual agreement, we've separated. So you can actually introduce yourself and say, I was married before, but I separated like a few months before coming to the house. Guys, is that hard to say? Or would that be, would that, would that have ruined that game in any way? Because you say, because you saw Jepo, you now have to say you were married because Jepo did not know that you've been separated does not even make sense it does not add up so guys i don't even want to dwell further on the situation we all know what they did she slept Roma slept with a married woman she's trying to deny the fact that she was married before getting into the house she's telling us that she was separated but she told us that and able character why did you say you were separated she said because she saw jepo obviously if you know jepo before and jepo did not know that you've been separated you could explain to jepo that oh and my husband separated if you were not lying if you're not lying but obviously they came here to lie and the lie does not even add up and then boma still goes on to justify his stupidity by saying 98 percent of the nigerian men that are married as they have girlfriends you're trying to say you did not sleep with a married man married woman and then you're using these points to justify your actions does it make sense does it add up no i'm like the situation is just i just feel bad for Tega because she's the woman and obviously the society will go after the woman more than the man but man is already living his life but Tega now everywhere she goes anything she does the stigma is still there on her in my opinion she should have come up with a better statement oh yes i did it and i regret my actions because if i had definitely if i had the hand if i had to go back in time i wouldn't have done what i did and i'm sorry my husband i've apologized to the needful to the people that need the apology and right now all i can say is i'm trying to move on that would have been a better story not coming here to justify your action with a lie that really does not make sense like i said even before the reunion started that this housemate will come here and lie that's what they have they, they've trained they all they just want to come and do here is lie only few people will come here and stand with their truth. And so them lying and, you know, going over some things that necessarily does not need going over, like doesn't need us to go over, makes the reunion boring and, you know, just not something you look forward to watch. That's all we can take today on the Big Brother Niger reunion review on the Women's Talk Show. My name is Oke okay Wumi. If you've watched this video to this point, thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. And also, let me know what you think about the Tega and Boma situation down below in the comment section. Have a wonderful day ahead.